You know all those lonely donated lampshades? Pick up a matching pair. Pick up a thrifted belt. Run a bead of clear glue around the perimeter. Take the other lampshade, place it on top of the other lampshade, take some jute twine and tie the inner hardware of the two lamps together. Give the connected shades a little shake to make sure they are securely connected. Take the belt and buckle it around the skinny center of the two lampshades. Add a little glue to the loose end of the belt and secure it to the rest of the belt. Find a thin wood circle disc. Paint the edge with some acrylic paint. And peel and stick wallpaper is perfect for this project. First, you need to wet your lampshade thoroughly with some water. We mix together two cups of water, four drops of dishwashing soap, and four cups of cement. I then painted this mixture on the wet lampshade and let it dry completely. Now, it's time to make a cement base for the pot. After letting the cement fully dry and cure, we then used a drill to drill in the drainage hole. I added some potting soil. You'll never believe what you can make from an old lamp and a glass shade from the thrift store. It's time to paint the lamp now, is cover it with a coat of water-based clear coat. I want to attach it to the lamp base, so I'm going to use some contact cement to do that. It's time to pop it onto the rest of the lamp base. I want to fill the glass shade now completely with soil. My new planter is ready for some plants. I found this lamp not too long ago at the thrift store. Before applying the paint, I'm going to give the base a quick sanding with some gritty sandpaper. I'm going to apply a decoupage medium to the area I want to work with first. Now to start applying the decoupage paper. I want to dampen the paper with a wet paper towel. With everything done and dry, the last thing I want to do is cover up all those little paper bits on the underside of the lamp. To start this project, I want to remove everything but the main section of this lamp. I'm going to add the glue to each of the joints and then leave it all to dry. I found these signs at the dollar store. I'm going to add a thinner wood round. A little wood glue will hold this into place perfectly. I'm going to find the middle and use the top of the lamp to trace a little circle. I'm ready to paint. I'm going to use the white chalky paint to cover both the base of the lamp and the wood. I want to attach the wood top to the lamp. The circle that I drew before is going to help me so that the lamp is correctly centered. Add some glue and then I can join them together and it'll be nice and solid. I'm going to rip down all the fabric off of my lampshade so I'm going to take it outside and give it a quick spray paint and then after that I decided I needed to spray paint one more thing and that was a mason jar sealing part of the lid that I'm going to use later on. I'm going to take this wood slice I'm going to give this a good coat of sealer. I'm also going to do like the live edges and once that's all sealed, it's gonna be time to grab that mason jar lid and drill a tiny hole in the middle. And now it's time to assemble. I have some E6000 industrial glue that I'm putting in a little hole where like a finial for a lamp would go. And that's where I'm gonna kind of adhere that a mason jar sealer. I'm going to put some more E6000 glue along the rim here. So I'll go ahead and set that down, got it in place, and now it's time to drill. It's all good, gonna flip it up. Grab some hot glue and put a bead of glue along one side of your lampshade and then add some twine or jute and we're going to wrap that around the lampshade until we cover the entire thing. After you have all your tassels made, we are going to add these to the bottom of our lampshade. And I decided to hot glue these. You could use a needle and thread and tie them and sew them on the edge, but this worked out perfect. You are going to simply trim off the excess tails. Set an edge of your lampshade against one edge of the wallpaper. Measure in one half inch to one inch and mark it by running a pencil where the shade meets the paper. Spray the outside of the lampshade with spray adhesive. Roll the lampshade onto the wallpaper, pressing and smoothing as you go. Apply double-sided tape to the inside lip of the top and bottom of the lampshade. Wrap the overage border of the wallpaper over the edge of the shade and press onto the double stick tape. Take some more tape and apply it to the top and bottom of the lampshade. Take some ribbon in a coordinating color and press half of the width onto the double stick tape and secure on the inside of the shade. Do this for the top and bottom of the shade. Continue the lamp makeover by spray painting the base of your lamp. 
Next time you're at the thrift store, pick yourself up a couple of lampshades. To begin my project, I just took apart the lampshade, so I just began with some scissors, cutting apart the fabric and ripping it off. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this little knob back on. Then I'm going to go ahead here with a hot glue gun, just going to attach this faux moss onto the wired parts. I came in with these solar fairy lights and wrapped them all around my lampshade. So to get started, I am going to take apart the lamp and I'm just gonna put some alcohol on the paper towel and wipe down my lamp base. I'm just giving a little light base coat to this. And then I have some all-in-one pre-mix stucco patch. And I'm just using an old chip brush and I'm just gonna coat the entire thing. While that's drying, I'm gonna take that really kind of dingy old looking lampshade. I'm using some white chalk paint. Well, that's water that you saw me mist on there. And it just makes the paint kind of flow and cover nicely. I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'm actually gonna do a second coat. I have a medium gray paint here and I've also added a little water to it. I'm just gonna take a regular paintbrush. So I'm just gonna work on getting this whole lamp base covered in this. While that gray is still wet, I'm grabbing some mud by Dixie Belt. I put a glove on to put this part on. It's a lot like spackle. Let that dry for about an hour and then grab a sanding block and get that all sanded smooth down. And then for even more dimension, I have white chalk paint and then a lighter gray. Little sea sponge here that I'm just getting kind of damp and I've also misted my paint plate. Now I'm just gonna kind of dab around and keep working on this faux finish. And then after I do all that, now I have black and brown paint. Okay, so I'm watering down that paint a little bit. And a push pin, I'm using the tip, the little pin to add some little dot. Lastly, just to seal in all this I used a matte clear spray picked up this thrifted lampshade that I got at my local thrift store. These embellishments that I found at my local fabric store. I began placing my lace appliques over the lampshade. I'm next going to bring in some spray adhesive and I'm just going to spray the back of the lace applique and then I'm going to lay it in place on my lampshade. Once my pieces were fully placed on, I came in with this so soft fabric paint just went very lightly over some of the edge detailing. 